everyone. This is Monica Morgan. So today I've got a cute little card for Sobriety Card Saturday. But by the way, just because it's titled Sobriety Card Saturday, that doesn't mean that it's not appropriate for any card maker who's looking for inspiration. I just needed something that rhymed with Saturday or went with the word Saturday and sobriety kind of fit. So what I'm doing here is I'm heat embossing the Sugar Skull or Day of the Dead and the Two Roses stamp that I got from Spellbinders Mystery uh, Pack. And I have an unboxing opening uh, opening video of that, which I'm going to put up next. I didn't, I didn't want to put that one up before I showed what you can do with the stuff inside of it. So I'm basically just going to use the Copic markers only to shade the roundness of that skull, if you will, because to me, it's like Day of the Dead artwork is usually pretty flat and it worked okay to just make it flat. And I'm actually still really new at, at Copic coloring anyway. I don't quite know what all I can do with them. I know there's a lot that can be done, but I'm not sure if this is the right image because it's so small, but I've seen people do so much smaller than this. To me, it's kind of a waste of time if it's any smaller than a quarter or a nickel or even a dime, but that's just my opinion. So, Here's where I went completely flat. I didn't try and do any shading with any of the rest of the colors. That is the only pen, I believe, that I used that is not a Copic marker, although it is an alcohol-based marker. It's actually looking really cool. That's that artist loft pen. See it there in my hand, a pink one. I was going to try and um, put it on without fussy cutting it, but it just didn't work. And then I'm doing a very old technique of just tearing the paper. And I found that real pretty pink card base from, I buy them uh, in the packs of 80, and they're all a variety of colors and patterns. And I try and keep them pretty mellow though so that's like just a uh, tone on tone color and it went good with the colors in my card and then i have these they're not nuvo they're dollar store i'm just such a dollar store junkie they were great and i was just testing them to make sure i didn't get a big glob and i like to flick the bottom of the card i put this in slow motion or actually real time see how it flattens it out one more little one for that top one. And it just works great. And then you let it set and it makes like an enamel dot. So I just love the way this card came out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you again later.